Now we're set. Anyways, let's just let's just focus on fixing it. We got our gear, we got our map. We're not restricted to the beaten path, so to speak. We should start walking to as above sea level as we can get. Take a look at your map and let's pick where we want to go. Okay. Transmitters above 3,000 feet. The Church of the Grand Architect. Camber Cape has one already. And then Charity Point, the very top. And then to Tega Falls. Do you think we can get inside the community center? All right. Have an idea of where we're going? Uh, yeah, I think so. Doesn't seem too difficult. Okay, yeah. Let's do it. It seems like a pretty long walk. We don't have a truck. So, embarrassing confession. Before my truck broke down, I was headed to the library to return a book. I was a month late in returning. I'm talking 30 proper days, and I never even finished it. Athena and I walk there all the time. So I figured two birds, you know? Not a good book? Eh, it was mindless brain candy. Fun, but no real uh, vitamins and minerals, you know? <laughs> but really, I could have waited another 30 because Kamina PL got rid of late fees last September. Yeah. Man, is it hmm. weird that I don't mind paying late fees? I get that getting rid of them promotes library usage, which is a big plus. But I mean, there has to be consequences. Life is nothing but late fees. Kids need to learn that. You really want to charge a kid 50 cents because he's one day late and returning dude the cat goes to school? Do you remember how hard it was to get money as a kid? You may as well charge them cold fusion. I do, and that's exactly why. Learn the lesson, young reader. Maybe a more considerate child also wants to know how that day at school went for dude, but now they'll never know. Mm. Anyway, now you know. Judge me. Mm, go ahead. Finish the damn thing. Come on, at this point you're like morally obligated. You're not the boss of me, but it, yeah. I, I should. I will. But because Jacob decided so. Thank you and tip your waitstaff. I wonder if the conversations continue if we go through. I don't want to test it though. Yeah, recently my library got rid of um, late fees as well. I think the kind that doesn't increase beyond, like, if the fees increase for every day you're late or something, then that's like not really encouraging people to return it. Hey, Olivia. Olivia Massel, are you there? Over. Oh, wait, hold up. Stay off the walkie. Olivia's at Garland, where the receptions are. Over and out. Olivia Massel? I thought she sounded familiar. Have you heard that name before? Massel? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so, Olivia Massel is the teenage daughter of, uh, well, the easiest way to say it is they're a cult. The Massels. Oh, the nature well rituals. Group of nutter butter lunatics. Extremely wealthy, very insular, very private. Her mom and dad actually died in a prop plane crash almost four years ago, but she lives with her aunt and uncle now. That weird thing on the trail path? That's some parentage, they call themselves. And there are stories. Yeah, I saw their flyer at the store. You think this is a cult thing? Seriously? Hey, I'm just saying what I know and what I've heard, and you can take it or leave it. One second, Jacob. I just want to make sure. If I want to go to a point that's high in elevation, well, maybe let's keep going. Oh, Garland Highway. We might want to go that way. I think we can wrap back around, though. Yeah, with where I put the rope around here. Can we get there? Actually, I might want to go the longer way. How do I get the rope? Like, my goal is to get to the Church of the Grand Architect, that area, so we can put the, the transmitter. I'm just trying to look at where... Do we have to go the Garland Highway way? Maybe... Let's do that. I just... I, I think it's her. Wait, is there a shiny thing? There's a shiny thing here. What's going on? I'm sorry, you were talking about... The cult girl? She has white hair? I saw her picture just now. What is this? Oh, no way! I buried this. When I was a kid, Maggie had me bury letters for her. Weird, I know, but she paid five bucks each. I promised I'd never read any of them. Never did. Never will. Keep your eyes open. I guarantee there are more of these out there. Something must have gone wrong with their... whatever they were doing. Timeline-wise, Maggie Adler, like, she was mentioned in the first game, but wasn't she... 
dead already, and then Jacob knew her when he was little. So roughly the same-ish time, I guess? Mel, since you didn't want to hear it, you'll just have to read it. Our work will not yield the results you're looking for. It just won't. Tom, I am so very sorry to say, is beyond our reach, beyond anyone's reach. The hypocritical of me to say, I encourage you to look forward. If that's as impossible for you as it is for me, then perhaps try to change how exactly you look back. Take Hank to visit Tom. I know he's an infant. For now, it's not for him. And when Hank is old enough to understand, tell him about his older brother, about Tom. That small patch of earth, those letters carved in stone, they can be so much more than a place for pain. The world has enough of those. Make it something else. Something better. Thank you for your help. My work would never have grown as it has without you. Now go find Hank and take a walk. And if you see me there wandering, do wave. Maggie. Hank and Tom. Brothers. Hank is a baby. Hmm. Collectibles. Great. Anyway, I still think I'm gonna go this way instead. Just to make sure we're... Gonna reach somewhere we actually want to be. I'm, I'm a little tired, so I'm just resting my feet, but I'm on the road. Window pane poet. Yeah, oh, they're doing yeah, that radio yeah. drama again. I, have to, I still have to decide what I want to be. Is that how it works? So I've heard. I'm thinking about an almond tree or a raccoon. Perhaps an almond tree if I'm remembered, and a raccoon if I'm not. What did you do? Agriculture. You'll be remembered. I have no idea what the beginning of that was, but all right. Oh, fantastic. Yes. Ah, so we don't really... Right, we didn't have to go up all that. Good, good, good. Because that's the, um, the truck road. And we just walked it up. Okay, so take this anchor. Somebody left this behind, which is good. Because rope climbing requires them. See, just slide the rope through and hook. I haven't <laughs> done this since basic, but riding a bike and all that. Uh, just take it slow. <laughs> For me. You want to go first or you want me to go first? I guess I'll show you how it's done. Oh, my hands. That rope burn. Man, I was really hoping to avoid this, but uh, take a walk on the wild side, Jake. Oh, God. Oh, God of God. I'm proud of you, Jacob. You're a rock climbing fool. Oh, I'm a fool, all right. But thanks. <laughs> hey, and we're right here. Right in Garland Ghost Town, which is where Olivia is supposed to be, right? Oh, is that a machine? Garland Ghost Town. Why do they call it Ghost Town? Oh, there's a weird looking lock on the door. It might be a radio lock. One of those things that needs a calibrated radio to tune open. They use alternate frequency RF signals to control the deadbolt. Is that if really a thing? If we had a radio with a broader range, we could tune in its code and unlock it. Hmm. Ah, uh, man. Well, I don't think we can get around. It'll be impossible to get in unless we find one of those radios. Let's just come back later. If we find a better radio along the way, great. If not, maybe we'll have come up with a workaround. Yeah, okay. Well, so much for my plan, I guess. We uh, just have to come back later. Fine, they don't want me to meet the girl. Well, we should probably try going to Charity Point next. Start from Jacob's place again. Yeah, and then we'll just go up. Alright. Not like we got a choice. Riley, you there? Over. Hey, Evelyn, what's going on? Over. I just wanted to see how you were doing and how it's looking out there. Over. Evelyn, uh, how do I put this? I think it's more than just the portal, or maybe the portal is causing it? But there are definitely, like, ghosts out here with us, or something very much like ghosts. I know this sounds insane, but... No, I don't think you're insane, Riley. Our weather station and relay measurements are... Well, the numbers are... otherworldly way off track from where they should be. Yeah. In a good yeah, way or a bad way? Sorry, a co-worker's letting me know he couldn't get his car started. It's okay. Riley, I want to stick to the plan. Still plant those transmitters, but can you do me a favor? Could you give me a call whenever you plant a transmitter? It would help me help you with what's going on. 
Yeah, Evelyn, that, that's fine. Over. Great, great. It's important you call me before you head out to your next objective when you plant them, okay? It'll help a ton. Okay, okay. What? I'll let you go. Remember, I'm on seven. Good luck out there. Over and out. How how far before? I mean, we can't we can't do this one. Hey, uh, Evelyn, I'm in Garland. Can you hear me? Over. Yeah, this is Evelyn. I'm at work. Who's this? Over. What? Uh, this is Riley. I, I've been talking to you all night. Over. Yeah, sorry, I don't know Riley. Riley. What? And don't call Maritime Emergency Dispatch unless you have a real emergency. Over and out. Okay, so that was staticky and she was not responding in the way I would- What the hell? Um, is- Is anyone here? Over? Hi, this is a pretty the same message. one. You've reached the Kamina High School radio advice line. That's enough. If you'd like to get some advice, please call again when the line is open. Listen to 88.1 to tune in and find out when to call. Thank you. Have an okay day. Oh, fantastic. This continues through the loading screen. Not that you're gonna really feel the effects of that because I'm gonna cut out all the loading screens. When they, uh, when they hired me for this, they said I was gonna have to work with somebody. And I said, you know, that's fine. What, uh, what can you tell me about them? One second, Jacob. This doesn't go, if we go down... This goes back to the, oh, it goes back to the general store. It's a faster way, maybe? Never mind then, there was a lighthouse there. We'll go and this I way. Said, All we can tell you is that she used to live here and then she moved away. And now she's moved back. Yeah, and, and I remember thinking, that's funny. I never heard of anyone ever coming back. I, uh, guess I just needed a reset. I didn't have a permanent address, and drifting like that can feel great for a bit, like I'm beating some system, but I didn't really have anything to show for it but a foggy memory and a lot of bad habits. Hmm. Hey, you know, your dad rewired my folks' garage when I was a kid. How's, the, how's he doing? Still an electrician? It's been a minute since I've seen him in town. Yeah, he's not doing too well, to be honest. You know, he had me kind of late, so he's getting up there now. Same as you, then. That was part of why I came back, honestly, to be a little closer to him. I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, give him my best when you see him. Look, you, you uh, came back for a reset, and I, I know that it's going terribly wrong so far. Does that continue? It's only the first day. Fantastic. Uh, who knows what tomorrow will be like? Can only go up from here, right? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, hopefully. That's such a small but really fantastic feature, being able to continue conversations in the loading screen. Or at least finish off that sentence that it was on. Great. So we... We could have gone down or we could go up. Let's go down first, because I'm kind of curious what's what's here. It doesn't seem like there is anything here. Which is where there usually is some secret collectible stuff. Hey, I was meaning to ask, when you were, uh, you know, in my house, in my bedroom is this, uh, thing I've been working on for, like, for, like, years. The sculpture? Clay sculpture. I can't remember if I covered it up or not, but, um, assuming I didn't, and assuming you took a look, and assuming you formed an opinion upon looking, what might that opinion be? That you are a weirdo pervert? Lots of assumptions there, I realize. But, uh, you can't make an omelet, <laughs> am I right? Yeah, I saw it. It was kind of hard to miss. Yeah, I have no idea how I'm ever going to get it downstairs. So, thoughts, questions, comments? Minor criticisms that'll keep me awake at 2 a.m.? Under this hat, I'm all ears. I genuinely, objectively, without a shred of consideration for politeness, liked it. Well then, I genuinely, objectively, uh, uh, the, the, the rest of that, appreciate it. I usually just work with scrap metal. I figured, you know, branch out, Jake. It's a work in progress. Both the sculpture and the branching. Maybe someday it'll leave the bedroom. Have the world uncover it, you know? See if it was worth the dirty fingernails. Yeah, I figure it can't be a bad thing to Maybe. be nicer to Jake. Why be mean? Okay, it doesn't look like we can get past that. We'll go to Port Tilia for now. Or Point Tilia. Just because we're kind of in front of it already. Sure. Maybe. What a wonderful word. Yeah, how it lets you off the hook of responsibility in such a 
gentle way. <laughs> think about these things at 2 a.m. when you're in bed, Jacob. Don't think about it now. Wintelia. We'll just take the short path down to the beach, and then it's uh, just across the way. Should be a good lookout for a transmitter location past that. Watch, uh, watch your footing. It gets kind of steep. I think we're close to the ranger station, too. <laughs> Worry about yourself, Jacob. We're close to the falls? How close? Uh, close. Another few city blocks. And with the slopes, it might feel like more than a few, but, uh, yeah, we're almost there. If you say so, I'm trusting you. I'm relying on you. Alright. Ropes? Is it gonna be a rope kind of day? Oh! Okay. We don't like hiking, but we can do that. We can just jump across the rock. That's a pretty big jump. Ooh, hey, careful. Man, I don't know how you do this so fast. How do you get to Carnegie Hall? Take piano lessons. Exactly. We can go down or take the rope? Oh, we probably want to plant the rope first so that we can come back up later. Ah, another anchor. See? We can climb down from here. Oh, goody. Do you prefer this or going down the long way? <clears throat> hey. <clears throat> You doing okay? You kidding? This is my... Uh, happy place. <laughs> how do you live here and not know how to climb and stuff? It just seems kind of inconvenient. I guess because normally your truck's not broken. Wanna go down, Riley? Can we go back this way? Not too shabby. Yeah, I feel like I shouldn't be banging my knees against the wall so much, but yes, I survived. Good job, man. Kind of curious what's on the other side first. If we want to... What? Hey, that's Olivia's friend. Charlie. Hey, buddy. Wait up. Jacob, quick, go get him. Go get him? But the... <laughs> I'm trying. He has something. What's he holding? Something red. He has a mask, too. Get him! Ah! Oh. Are you s Wait! Ugh. Open the gate. Hey, you, lady! You and uh, Gingerbread here better quit following us. Ugh, you are bad me? things are gonna happen. Seriously. Will you just shut up, dude? Wait, come on, let's... Let's work something out. Open the gate and we'll... Uh, I'll... I, I, I have money. How about that? <laughs> 20... Or 17 bucks? Yeah, no, I'm not 10. This is stupid. Look, whatever you and your little friends are Don't doing- Don't follow me. Don't follow us. Stop what you're doing. Last warning. Wait! And Gingerbread, come on. Are these your work hours or something? You look exhausted. And I mean that in a bad way. Oh yeah? Well, why don't you eat something? And go to hell also. God, you and your entire freak show crew. It's okay. We'll get them next time. There has to be another way. Oh, it's just mm, so annoying. And if we'd gotten here just two minutes earlier. Well, that would have never happened. <sighs> okay. Okay, it's I'm fine. Where? What's blocked off exactly? Tutega Falls is blocked off. All right, fine. Fine, be that way. We'll just go this way instead. There's probably a key for the lock at the ranger station. It's just up here. Ugh. So, uh, gingerbread, what's- Oh, yeah, uh, that. It's, um, this is incredibly dumb, but <laughs> two summers ago, I was at the beach and I went to go to the bathroom in a, you know, one of the latrines they have there. And as a prank, some high schoolers pushed it over and I fell out practically naked and they call me gingerbread now as a goof. And that's it. Not a whole lot to explain. I don't get it. Okay, but why gingerbread? Because my hair down there is pretty light and then the sun, it looked red. And so that's, oh. that's it. It's just something some of them thought they saw. Like I said, 
It's dumb. Oh, I don't want him to feel bad. Oh, like, who cares what a bunch of delinquent kids call you? They're probably just jealous you have pubes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, that's what I tell myself too. <laughs> Thank you. Did you want to rest here? We have a pit stop. So I did see a little sparkly thing down here. Hey, is that an axe? Take that axe. Hmm. Is that not an axe? Do we not want to take it? It's more radio dramas. Is there anything? Can we find anything just by... Yeah, uh, sports. Uh... Okay, okay! In short, if you really want to drop trig, just go ahead and drop it. We invented calculators way back when Shakespeare was around. We don't need to know our tables. Okay, everyone. Oh, Welcome that's the... the High School Radio Advice Line. Yeah. With some arbitrarily chosen musical tracks approved by Principal Haddish. Our advice line is now open, so bring on those questions. Thanks, but no thanks. Did they... Hmm. Jay, I saw the green flash again. This time, at sunset. It wasn't as bright. I would apologize, but you told me not to. So instead, I will try... Try to show gratitude. Thank you for not hating me. Thank you for having the courage to point out what was clearly right in front of me. Thank you for tolerating the absolutely dreadful coffee I make every morning. Anna would want me to let go. Anna would be furious at me for this pitiful little cage I've built for myself. I can see her now, flustered and cursing and thrusting me into your arms. Best of luck with your life, your art, and your heart. Though you'd insist it's not needed, I hope someday you can forgive mine. M. P.S. I'll keep an eye out for the piece you created for me and Anna. I can't say I'm much of an art critic, but know that I'm grateful. For that, and so much more. Well, M is Maggie. Anna is her friend. J... Oh, can we look at that again, by the way? There was a turn page button. Is it possible for me to... Oh... Uh, did, did this have a turn page button? Oh, yeah, yeah, look, even this one did. Well, let's finish reading the previous one first. Hold up. Oh no, but if you look at the transcription, it has the whole thing. Where's the PS? I don't see the PS anywhere on the page itself. That's weird. Yeah, there's no PS on the actual letter. What about this one then? Now go find Hank and take a walk. Okay, so we, we did finish reading it, but if you look at it, you see, you get to see... The illustration, which is Tom's grave. The Maggie Adler was the... What was she? The um, oldest surviving person? From the original USS Kanaloa incident or something? And so I guess all of her co-workers and friends died in that event. But she alone survived. And that's... I don't know how you would feel in that circumstance. Did she cause the incident somehow? I... Uh, the details are fuzzy for me. Sometimes I think I'm the wrong person. I look at Jacob and I'm like, oh yeah, I'm Jacob. No, I'm... <laughs> I'm Riley. Hurry up, Jacob. You, uh, you're pretty good at this stuff, right? Good at what? Walking? But no, come on, you know what I mean. You're like a athletic, outdoorsy. I trust you to start a fire. Was this like part of what you uh what what you did in the military? I'm in the military. Sort of thing? Was this like part of your training? Uh no. My dad and I just went hiking a lot, so I know some of these trails. He teach me basic survival tricks. How to make fire from ice, crap like that. What? He was just kinda one of those guys. That's cool. Uh, my dad was more of a 
If you want to learn how to shave so badly, ask your mother sort of person. Which, you know, at the time I didn't really mind. I guess I still don't. Oh, he, he uh, wasn't around much? No, no, he was. I don't want to... Uh, I shouldn't give the wrong impression. He was fine. We were fine. We just didn't do stuff like hike much. That's all. It could just be not your thing. Not everyone likes hiking. Sure. Oh, okay. Whew, okay. That's the ranger station. So, you're welcome. <laughs> I just hope the ranger's on for the night. Yeah, and even if she's not, maybe there's a phone. Well, I'll cross my fingers if you cross yours. But that might cancel out. Oh, good point. Jesus, what happened here? Looks like, like, parentage ransacked the place. Or ha had a seance? God, I have no Ugh. idea. It's kind of unsettling, seeing the little ceremonies of people devoted to things inscrutable. Ranger, are you, uh, in the bathroom? No? Crap. There's broken glass over here. That guy, God, he totally wrecked the place looking for comm equipment. Little thief must have taken the ranger's walkie. Spectacular. Well, we're here. There has to be something useful we can borrow. All right, positive attitude. Positive attitude. Let's will something good into existence here. Oh, there's got to be something here. But damn, they really didn't care, huh? The windows are all broken. Squirrel. What's this? Oh, did they stuff a squirrel? A little plaque says, Nutty the Squirrel. I'm sure there's a, a story there. Maps. With a bunch of districts listed. I guess to delineate which ranger takes which patch of forest in case of anything. I don't know if we'll find the park ranger geographical coding system particularly helpful at this point. Maybe not. This is like a cozy home. Doesn't really seem like a ranger station. Oh, hey, found a key. There's no markings, but a pink sticker. Oh, awesome. That has to be for the gate. Well, it doesn't have to be, but, you know, hopefully. Hopefully. Call 911. I'm calling 911. Oh, Just redial could have been interesting. Okay. Shoot. Um, hello? I don't think anyone's there. Uh, okay, well, we can try redialing the last received number. Right, Maybe right. it's just 911 that's not, you know, working. But that might be a dead end, too. I don't know. Well, let's give it a go. I'm glad it doesn't overwrite. The 911 doesn't overwrite the last number. I'll, uh, just redial the last number. Okay. This is Shelly, Park Ranger at <gasps> Overrun Station. Anyone there? You're a park ranger. We're at the, the, uh, the Turnstone Forest Station and we need assistance. Oh, this is Turnstone? I, I just called there. I'm getting a few scattered reports of an electrical storm in your area. Riley, tell to her check what's going on. Fires have started. Have you seen anything? And is Local 43 on <laughs> <laughs> Look, uh, Shelly, I, I know what you're talking about, but it's, it's not an electrical storm. Something else is going on, and I, I don't know how much I can get into it without you just hanging up, but... Okay, slow down. First, can I ask who I'm speaking with? Hello? Um, Riley and Jacob were both, or were both residents. Jacob still is. So, Riley, it's not a storm. Something else is going on. Now mention your okay. credentials. I would normally write this up as tomfoolery, but I've been getting too many off-color calls tonight. And... I've been hearing other things on my patrols. Stuff I would normally chalk up to coffee-induced auditory hallucinations. But you couple these with the phone calls. It's been an interesting night, to say the least. Real interesting. Times two. So you'll help us out? I'll do what I can, but it's not like park rangers are exactly outfitted for trouble, gear-wise. Hell, we have to provide our own pens. Wow. I have to go check something out, but if you have a walkie, I'm on one. Talk to you in a second. All right, that'd be cool. H how long should we wait? Are you going to come on? Is Evelyn good? This is just the usual advice station. 
Oh. Hey, uh, Evelyn, have you been experiencing something like, it's like I'm redoing the previous couple of minutes a few times, like deja vu, but worse, over. Hey, Riley. Um, uh, no, not, not really. We've been experiencing a lot of technical hiccups, but not a lot of whatever you're describing. I assume you are, though, or else you probably wouldn't be asking. Yeah, sometimes. But if you don't have any other information or anything, it's, uh, you know, I'll just deal with it. Over. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we'll just Riley. Ring me if you need anything. We'll just be in the time loop. Sorry I couldn't help you with this. Over and out. Is that the real Evelyn? What happened to the fake one that we got earlier? Does Shelly want to talk to us? Oh, we got a key. I guess we can go. Yeah, Evelyn's asked us to check in with her whenever we plant a transmitter. We are headed to... Charlie equals dick. Check ranger station for key to gate. We could have gone the other... No, no, we're, we were gonna go to Tutega Falls. Charity point is elsewhere. Can we talk to Shelly? No? Doesn't seem like a thing. Hey, Riley, your dad you there? Oh. Over. Sorry, it just reminded me. How's uh, your dad Riley? doing? Come in. The last time Over. I saw him was back S in Sorry, school. sorry. Yeah, yeah, but we Shelly, were. I'm, uh, I'm here. I was at the grocer and he was before me right. in line. And the clerk asked anything about else you I can or something. Help you with? And uh, Over. your dad mentioned how Riley is a name after uh, Jacob. something. Jacob. There's a story there. Jacob. Or... Jacob, please. All right, I have to no. leave, but I'll be in touch. It's just you some dead soldier that Over died in some town in Dublin. Not much of a story. But no, that's that's cool. He also, <sighs> your dad, mentioned how proud he was that you. I guess you just enlisted, and he was proud of you following in his footsteps. I don't think it was bullcrap, for what it's worth. I'm sure he was proud. I'm sure he was telling every mechanic and bag boy that his little girl was going to be raining napalm on bad guys any day now. I disappointed him eventually, but at least he got that morning, right? I'm sure he's. Yeah. So, very unfortunately, I didn't hear anything in either of those conversations. Not the beginning part, anyway. Hmm, yeah, I think Oxenfree, the the a million dialogues they have, it's really easy for stuff to overlap and stuff, and that was the problem with the first one as well. Hmm. Shelly, you ever heard of parentage? Oh, oh, Lord. God, yes. I have heard of the f effing parentage. How Sorry. do I go up here? On duty. Try to monitor the language. The number of times I've had to deal with their naked forest dancing ceremonies. It's like, okay, wanna dance naked? Cool. That's why God invented backyards. Over. Sounds harmless, if annoying. I mean, look, they clean up after themselves. It's better than a lot of park visitors. But still, there was this one member, though. She died a few years back. <sighs> Don't know. Wasn't so hippy dippy. More a scary hairy. How so? She hated parentage more than me, but she was still a member. Just some bog-standard old lady complaining about how the old ways were dying out. Kids these days, the usual tap dance. I had to drive her back home once after she twisted her ankle during one of their naked dance-offs. The story she told. That's when it started to get scary. Among other things. Over. A long history of naked dancing? Not quite. Parentage wasn't, uh, wasn't always bird-watching, if you read me. Apparently its founders were a lot less into naked dancing, and a lot more into fire and bodies. But, pin in that, I gotta do a quick walk around. There are sleeping skunks in this area, and they're not fond of talking alarm clocks. Check back later. Over and out. Well, I got an extra person on the thing now. Um, I was trying to cross this log, but it won't... Oh, I gotta... Oh, there's... I think that's a frog, right? Sorry. I don't know why I got so excited. I don't know how I got on the log. I had to jump onto it. Hey, frogs can be exciting, dude. They're frogs. They're freaking cool. Where was it? I actually think it was just a rock. That's fine. Oh, Olivia wasn't planned for. I wonder if she knows that. Ingrid. I've never been, nor will I ever be pregnant, so I can't say I understand Marigold's struggle, but I do sympathize. We plan our lives, and then things happen. You say parentage helped her and her husband accept the birth of Olivia, that they provided a structure for the chaos of early parenthood. 
But Olivia is a person, not a problem to be solved. How will this structure affect her own life? I enjoy our talks, but I think we should not discuss parentage anymore. I admittedly struggle when the topic is broached, as I don't wish to offend. But I find no sense or harmony in the stars. There are celestial giants, beyond my understanding, who do not know or care that I am here. It only saddens me how you see them, Ingrid. It saddens me to think how Olivia will see them. Not as they are, but as reflections of herself. So Olivia's mom is Marigold, a lady named Marigold. And she was born into the cult, pretty much. Hmm, things are still pretty hazy to me right now. I guess that's what it feels like when you're new to a place. Yeah, you'll know a little bit because you, were, you grew up here, but then just haven't been away for so long. Apparently I was in the military. Hey, Shelly, I want to know more about parents. How do I get down here, dude? Oh, hey, Riley. I just finished with Skunksville. Okay, parentage. I mean, this is secondhand off someone who smelled like they were carved from gin, but still. So I guess parentage goes back like centuries, and a good few of them. There was this freak lightning storm once over Edwards Island, just out of nowhere. Ooh. This was right in the middle of a wicked drought, so as soon as lightning touched ground, everything caught on fire. And every one. Hundreds of skeletons. At least, that they were able to count. Uh, so someone decided to make a religion out of this? Well, this is where it goes from bananas to nuts, depending on your definitions. Apparently, during that fire, this, like, thing showed up in the sky. Like this, I don't know, shape. The woman was mighty slurry at this point. A triangle? Something opened in the sky and showed paradise on the other side, while the earth below it was an actual burning hell. A triangle, or... I don't know, she was just shy of intelligible. Over. Heck of a tall tale. I was captivated. I mean, once I got past the belching every other sentence. A vision <laughs> of paradise. But just that, there and gone. An open and shut door. Those who survived called that vision Planet Shine. And decided to form a group to recreate it. And thus, parentage was born. With ash on their tongues. Over. How'd they get that name? Search me on that one. My mom is like weirdly obsessed with Frankenstein, so people are freaks, you know? The old lady told me that for like years and years after, they tried to recreate that night. As best they could. So no lightning, but plenty of fire. And plenty of bodies. Human sacrifices. For years. Over. Some people didn't, you know, catch them in the act or something? I'm sure they did, and I'm sure they were set on fire. The long and short of it, it never happened again. The shape in the sky, I mean. Surprise, surprise. People dropped out, membership went kaput, the thing uh, ran its course. A couple of diehards, but no more, you know, bodies. No more sacrifices. Well, I, I mean, you say that, but what about the old lady? Is that Maggie? Clearly, not everyone changed their minds. Uh, yeah, you're not wrong. I don't know. There are people who think indoor plumbing is a mortal sin, so you're always going to find one hanger on, I guess. But their history, the, you know, the corpses. Lost to the ages. Well, except for one slurring grandmother in a back seat. Anyway, don't believe everything you read. I'm getting a call, so see you when I hear you. Over and out. Ooh, spooky. Guess what, though? We've been seeing triangles tonight already. So I guess we're off to a good start. Yay! We can help them recreate whatever they want to recreate. Are we in the right direction? I keep thinking about what they could be doing. Like what they could be trying to do. Parentage, the cult, just with all this. You gotta figure, or at least I'm figuring, there's two possibilities. Either they're a bunch of underbaked human beings making underbaked life choices, just thinking this whole thing's a lark, without really measuring the consequences. You know? Well, Olivia at least seems pretty focused. I just feel like whatever plan they have is baked. She knows what she's doing, or at least why. Or whoever is telling her what to do. Or what if they're right? What if whatever they're trying to do is the right thing to do? I've, uh... 
hate to be getting in the way of our one true opportunity at eternal salvation. Uh, really? You think so? I mean, I don't know, of course, but, you know, they believe in astrology, soul, warping, crap like that. Broken clock, twice a day sort of thing. Uh, I don't know, though. Just postulating. Hey, Jake is pretty superstitious. Don't climb back up there. I'm also just trying to remind myself that I, too, was once a dumb asshole teenager who did dumb asshole teenager things. I'm trying to. Maybe not succeeding, but trying. <laughs> you know, I was actually a pretty well-behaved teenager. No real scandals, just some late nights. I wonder if your folks would say the same. <laughs> when you talk to your dad about old times, what does he say? Because something tells me... He would agree implicitly. <laughs> oh, he would. He'd agree implicitly. <laughs> oh, wow. And my clueless parents would attest to my being a very good kid in high school. They would, but even I have to admit that if someone had told me I could open a portal in the sky and make things better for myself, I'd have fallen for it. Probably. Well, sure, Jacob. I mean, what kid doesn't want to reach out and touch the void a little? See if it touches back, you know? Yeah, understandable. There is still a little bit more if we... Can we go forward? Here? Oh, wow, this beach is... And the moon is... Frighteningly beautiful. Evelyn? Anyway, there he is. Hey! Ah, damn it! Stop! Crap, let's get that asshole! Why did you say it so early, Jake? Uh, should I go the other way? Whoa! Okay, I have to go oh, the other way. Geez. Will you come here? Don't, don't wait for me, just go! I can climb faster than you. I'll catch up, hopefully. Hey, Jacob! You there, buddy? Oh, I can't. That's it. I'll take that as a no. Uh... This looks like the end of the line. Ooh, okay. Jacob ran after Charlie and left me. Annoying. Now what do I do? It doesn't seem like I can go anywhere. Red Rover, Red Rover. Who wants to come over? Uh, no, no thanks. I'm only busy <laughs> at the moment. Not busy yet, but you will be. <laughs> tig, tig, tiggy tips, touch and go, and then you're it. If to play, just say okay. Okay, fine. Whatever. If this, this is what you want. Just follow along. Sticks and stones can break my bones. And so can rocks, and so can blocks. Bloody and red, they'll kill me dead. No more night, no more light. Twenty. Nineteen. Cold. Oh. Eighteen. Warm. Seventeen. Sixteen. Am I trying to find you? Older. Warm. Fifteen. Warmer still. Fourteen. Even warmer. Thirteen. Warmer. Twelve. Heating up. Hot. Eleven. Ooh, hot. Fire. Oh. Burning. It's the... it's the light. The light, right? Correct! What do I win? Weeper, weeper, chimney sweeper. Had a wife but couldn't keep her. Had another, didn't love her. The chimney he did shove her. Body of the woman was found after neighbors complained about a strange smell emanating from the house every time Ooh. before. <laughs> Smells good. Fifteen. What? Fourteen. Thirteen. Well, give me, give me something. Warm or cold? Twelve. You're not giving me very much to work off of here. Eleven. Warm. Heating up. Ten. Warmer still. Nine. 
cold? Eight. Warmer. Hot. Seven. Six. You gotta give me. Hot. Oh! Five. Oh, the chimney that the woman Burning. was shoved up. The chimney. It's a chimney. It has to be. Well, yeah. Right. It... Here comes an old soldier from Botany Bay. What have you got to give him today? I'll give him a block. I'll give him a rock. I'll give him a grave. I'll give him a cave. If you have any information regarding the disappearance of little... <laughs> Ten. Less warm. How hot are we talking? Fire. Burning. Is there an opening here? The footprints almost look like they go into the wall. Winner! Hickory Dickory Dock. Who is that hiding behind the rock? One way to find out. Thank you, I suppose. Uh, that was disturbing, and I don't know what that was all about. I wonder if you could have failed it, though. That's pretty neat. But, man, okay. I can imagine native English speakers or non-native English speakers being like, what the heck is happening with, with, with the whole like cold and warm thing? <laughs> that was, um... Ladybird, ladybird, oh, there's more. Away, Shoot. Home. Your children are under the Grindle Stone. Come find me. Oh, this is about the, a lady who got shoved up the chimney? By what, her husband? How is that relevant to anything? I don't know. Am I really going into the caves by myself? Uh, do you even have a flashlight, Riley? What is that? A shoe. What? What is left? Do you see? I'll miss feeding you. I'll miss when you sat on my lap. Most of all, I'll just miss you being around. Goodbye, Lewis. You'll always be my favorite gecko in the world. I've... I, uh... I don't know what to do next. Rex. Well, everybody's different, but... Usually you say some nice words. Funny stories, favorite memories, any you want to tell Lewis? Well, I think my favorite memory is when you threw up on Mom's sandals. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Wait, what is I'm it? just gone to the store. These cost me 45 bucks. Yeah, count your lucky stars. I seriously considered disowning you that day. Both of you. Disown me? I let him out of his pen for a second. God. Who is Rex? My... We have the same hair color. I'm going to miss him so much. I'm really gonna miss him. You don't need to hug me. It's fine. I'm fine. What? Are you afraid someone's watching? Nobody's watching. It's not that. It's... I just don't want that. Ugh, he's moving so slowly. <laughs> My family member, Rex. I hope I die before you do. I don't want to see you like that. Please don't die before I do. Nobody talks about how scary funerals can be, huh? 
This is nothing, kiddo. There's gonna be much worse funerals. You gotta, gotta get used to it. Don't look away. Mm. I, I don't like seeing him alone. I, can't we, isn't there a way to get him back? I don't like seeing him out there. Maybe we, maybe I shouldn't have done this. I don't know. I don't like it anymore. Sweetheart, I know it's hard right now, but- No, I want to be with him. I don't want him to be alone. I wish I could go too. Hey, kiddo, come on. You want to be with him? Wouldn't you miss me? Rex? Hey, what are you Damn doing? It. I don't want to see him. I don't want to... Whoa! Mom? Riley? Riley? My son? Riley? I was put in another time, I think. In the future. There was a kid there. The future? Kept calling me his mom. Oh my Sam's god. Rex. Oh, wow. Uh... What was he like? We were having a little funeral by the sea for his pet lizard or something. He seemed distraught. I, I couldn't help him. It's hard to explain. Never mind, honestly. Let's just... Yeah, never mind. Okay. He's... Well, Charlie got away, sorry to say. He took off over the hill, and I thought I was already getting too ahead of myself. So, came back. Oh, thanks for trying anyway. I appreciate the effort. Trust me, my lungs do not. The path he was on funnels back to Tatiga Falls. So, maybe we'll get lucky and he'll still be there. Come on, let's hit the road. Hmm, something about grief in that whole gecko funeral. It's hard. Yeah, uh, to my knowledge, Riley is like in her early 30s, so I was kind of confused looking at Rex because that couldn't have been her kid. But if it's in the future... That makes sense. Oh, sorry, I forgot to kick the rope down earlier. I was, let's call it focused. Yeah, that's diplomatic enough. But who, whose kid did I, who's the dad? Am I even seeing anybody right now? Hmm. <sighs> My dad's not doing well, right? We told Jacob earlier. So that stuff about grief might be something we have to deal with soonish too. Thank you.